everyone, Kristen here. Today I am doing an impromptu video because I went to the eye doctor and <laughs> my eyes are dilated and so I'm kind of squinty and I can't do any coding or work or anything. So today I'm going to talk about my background before coding boot camp. A lot of you have been asking me because you're curious about how it prepares you, especially since I honestly didn't do much of the pre-coursework as I should have. I ended up doing that while the course was going on because I realized how helpful it was, so don't make that mistake. Uh, I survived, but I mean, it's highly recommended to do pre-coursework. And so, here it goes. My very first time coding, I'd say it was probably sixth grade. I took an elective computer class and for a couple of days we worked on HTML, so I learned how to change colors. Uh, change font sizes and add pictures and URL and so forth. Just, you know, basic HTML stuff. And then in high school, Live Journal and Zanga became really popular, and I would stay up till 3 in the morning just changing my, you know, journal layout to be perfect. Now, I even merge one of my layouts uh, using the HTML. It's, easy, it's fully HTML to change the layout. It's like blogging before it became super cool as it is today. But I would merge different layouts and designs and just be super particular about how my live journal looked. <laughs> so that's what gave me the solid foundation in HTML that I've always had. And it's been helpful in other things, but I never really took it seriously. I never thought of it as a career path. And then let's say, fast forward, I went to grad school uh, at San Jose State, studied journalism and mass communication. And that's when I realized how powerful technology is, social media, coding, everything. And uh, because I was in Silicon Valley, a lot of my classes involved video, audio, uh, coding, um, and even just some like media law. And that's when I became interested in it again. And I, when I finished, I took a job doing marketing. And then I was a WordPress developer. Well, I still am a WordPress developer. Um, like on the side, just little contract work here and there just to make extra money. And uh, then I found out about coding boot camp and I, I don't know, I'm just a creative person and it just seemed like a good fit and so that's why I enrolled and it's been, it's been great and honestly, don't compare my background to yours on how your success is going to be. That, that's not going to give you a clear idea. It's going to be your passion and how much energy you put into the course. Uh, you can you can do it without any background at all and just do the pre-course work as suggested. And there's a lot of free resources out there if you would rather test that out, which I recommend doing free resources to make sure it's something you like. I already knew I enjoyed it because I would stay up till 3 in the morning as a 16 year old coding without realizing that was coding. So. <laughs> Um, you know, don't compare people's background. I mean, I guess it's good to know, but I would say, instead of being so concerned about it, just ask yourself, what are your goals and what are your fears? Because that's the first thing I think of when people ask me, well, how, how much experience did you have before the class? My experience doesn't matter. It's all about how you feel is going to determine how you, well you're going to do in this class, about how, how you feel because that determines how much effort you're going to put into it and what you put in to this course is what you get out of it. So if you're unhappy with the course, I'm not even going to go into that, that's a whole other video. So um, yeah, that's my experience and I do appreciate you guys asking and caring about me even though I'm here to help you, so I'm super flattered, thank you and I hope some way this video is helpful. And uh, like, subscribe, find me on Instagram, Twitter, Kristen underscore leak. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day, guys. Bye.